In this video, I'm going to be replacing the accelerator cable and the accelerator cable guide tubes in this 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. So why, you might ask, am I replacing the guide tubes as well as the accelerator cable? Well, the accelerator cable is not actually broken in this car. It's, uh, it's still, uh, it still seems to be okay but it's binding all the time. Now, I personally think that the reason it's binding is because it's catching inside a frayed guide tube. So when I say guide tube, there's a Bowden cable that goes up beside the, um, beside the gearbox, and then there's a tube that passes through the fan shroud. So we'll, re we'll be replacing both of those. So let's, uh, let's get stuck in. The more observant of you might have noticed that things don't look entirely stock in the engine bay, but, uh, but worry not, this will apply to a standard Beetle as well. There's only going to be a difference here in so far as the... Uh, the accelerator cable is going on to the, uh, the bell crank linkage I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo the, uh, undo the nut here that is holding the cable onto the bell crank linkage. If you have a standard uh, Solex carburetor, or in fact any other carburetor, really all you need to do is just disconnect the cable from whatever setup you're running. And generally speaking, they use these things called barrel nuts or barrel clips or something along those lines. The other thing some of you might notice is just a little um, screw going through here with uh, a wide washer and uh, that was a uh, an attempt to try and uh, kind of make things work but in the end I actually bought a new guide tube that goes through here so we're going to be fitting that instead and taking this out so we won't actually need this anymore. So the next thing we can do is move into the inside of the car and disconnect the accelerator cable at that end and then we can actually pull the, pull the old cable out. <laughs> Just clearing off all of the debris and shite off the passenger side uh, footwell here because even though this is a right hand drive car the accelerator cable end is still on the passenger side i think on a left hand drive car the uh, accelerator cable end is actually on the left hand side too i can't be 100 percent sure on that i've never actually looked at it closely so in order to get access to the end of the accelerator cable we need to remove this box down here and it's held on with two bolts so we will remove those bolts Actually, I just remembered you don't need to remove the bolts all the way uh, and in actual fact it's better if you don't because there's a there's slots cut in the in the cover and if you undo the bolts all the way you're actually undoing your pedal box all right and thus is revealed the accelerator cable end now you'll see here that uh, this is the arm that comes off now normally there's a circ clip down there but I've done a bodge with a bit of lock wire. I really need to do something about that actually because it shouldn't stay like that. So you just unhook the little uh, crank to end and we can draw the cable. Now, if you have a nice, clean, tidy interior in your car and a well-greased cable, see it's getting snagged there, see that? If you, if you have both of those things, I would suggest You'd be very careful and maybe put some cardboard down so that you don't uh, destroy your carpets. Because especially depending on how dirty the grease is or whatever, well, even if it's clean grease, you still don't want grease in your carpets. I, on the other hand, was able to get the carpet out of here because it's not actually glued down. I'm just going to get a pliers and see if I can pull that out. There we go. It snagged on something there anyway. So that is the cable now removed. So uh, if you're wondering, the accelerator cable goes through that hole there. Now, um, if you're doing the clutch cable, it's a whole other kettle of fish. Uh, you actually need to take this oval plate off. So you'll have to be able to get the, um, the uh, accelerator cable or the accelerator pedal arm off. The other thing as well that's worth noting is uh, that box may seem surplus to requirements to some people at this moment in time. However, Without it, theoretically, your passenger could be it would be able to accelerate the car, and that might not be the best thing in the world, depending especially on who your passenger happens to be. It goes without saying that if you don't have a ramp, you're kind of um, on your back under the car, so make sure that if you are getting under the car, you use suitable axle stands. Unfortunately, the motor stalls out after a period of time, so... Uh, Not much we can do about that. It's as much access as I'm getting. 
it's a first world problem folks but um there again i will get it sorted out so anyway next thing to do is take out this accelerator guide tube that goes through the fan shroud here normally that wouldn't be any sort of an issue because uh, you literally just grab it and pull it out but in this instance as i said i welded a washer onto it and uh, put a, a screw through the fan shroud just to keep it in place there was method in my madness i'm not going to get into it to be honest with you it did actually work but um, it's not the right way of doing it. The reason I did it is actually because of the fact that the uh, accelerator, uh, the tube actually got, um, it, it, it was too short. Um, it's like at the end had fretted off it. There we go. Now, I made a little piece to uh, extend the tube. It did the job, but uh, as I said, not exactly the right way of doing it. So if you look up above the gearbox here, here is the cable, uh, the, the outer cable that would be slotted onto the uh, guide tube that goes through the fan shroud. So that goes all the way down to a point just in front of the nose cone of the gearbox. But uh, in this instance, it's quite a fell out of cable tie here, so I need to cut those cable ties off as well. All right, now that I have those two cable ties taken care of, you can see the other end of it up there, just about. And that is literally just pushed on over the end of the tube that comes out of the center tunnel in the car. All right, so there is the end coming out from the chassis uh now that is the uh, that's the actual cable uh the cable outer in question and straight away you can see why i'm replacing this so it was uh, it was small money but um definitely going to make a big difference to uh how things uh, how things behave themselves on the accelerator cable front so let's uh cast that one aside and we'll get a new one and we'll get a new guide tube in and we can put a new cable in Right, so you can see here the difference between the old uh, tube and the new one, and there's about an inch of a difference, and uh, an inch makes all the difference. So uh, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's a new one to go in. So we're going to feed this in first, and the reason we're going to feed this in first is because the, the new cable outer that goes over the, the drive shaft also uh, it goes on to the end of this as well, and we'll keep it in place. Now, this is supposed to be free floating. It's supposed to actually stay in the fan shroud, but not actually fall out. And it's supposed to seat itself in, I'll show you now. The flared end of the accelerator cable guide tube there uh, goes over it. And then that holds the whole thing together. Simple as that, really. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that that hole in the middle looks very, way too big. That's why there was a washer on the old one, so I'm going to put a washer on this one as well. All right, simple enough. So uh, now we'll be able to pop that in. So that'll, that, once that's sitting flush with the fan. Now I've heard of people putting, uh, putting Jubilee clips on the far end of those cables. Well, I wish you the best of luck. If you decide to go down that route, trying to get a Jubilee clip down in the back of the fan shroud and actually tighten the bloody thing, I did try. <laughs> Forget about it. Um, to be honest with you, I don't see why it should be necessary. Volkswagen didn't think it was necessary from the factory, so I'm going to uh, assume it's not necessary as well. So right, that's now in, and we are going to get our uh, guide tube that goes up over the gearbox in as well. So what I want to do is I want to put a bit of grease down here first of all. The grease is black because it's that LM grease you'd normally use for CV joints and the likes. But it doesn't matter. It'll be absolutely fine for the purposes of this exercise. Now, I would like to some of it had actually gone into the cable or the guide, but let's try this end. All right, so the cable actually runs uh, alongside the clutch cable, which is uh, connected to the clutch release arm there, and, uh, and it continues on up past that, obviously, up onto the guide tube that you installed through the fan shroud only a few minutes ago. So just pushes on there and then the other end pushes on to the guide tube now I just want to make sure that that's actually fully on because yeah that 
seems to be okay. All right, so yeah, just uh, what we need to do is just get it connected on the other end, and then uh, that should be us. It's kind of hard to film, but if you let me put my hand in the way of the light, if you look up the very top there on top of the bell housing, you can see where the guide tube is just coming through in the break in the uh, insulation there or the the grommet thingy that goes around the engine bay. So the engine bay seal. So uh, yeah, we're gonna. Uh, we're going to pop it onto that, and then uh, that should be uh, that should be that. I know full well that guide tube, tube has just popped out, but you will have a look and see now. Of course, it has. All right. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get a magnet and I'm going to hold that guide tube in place with the magnet. Right. So now I have the magnet stuck onto the other end of that, and uh, that will allow us to just. And then just literally slots on like that. Now, nothing to it, folks. So that's that. So now I'm kind of thinking that actually I would like to put a cable tie back around that. Although, again, Volkswagen didn't, so should I? No, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is. All right, so all the guide tubes are now replaced, which is the kind of hard part in a sense. So, uh, and even then it's not all that difficult. Uh, so this is the new accelerator cable. Now, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you go mental with the grease. I mean, literally slather it on, get the cable properly greased up, okay? And then um, what you can do is kind of make sure that your cab floor, or your, your, the floor of your car and everything like that, as I said, is protected and then start feeding it in and then it should come out the other end in theory if all goes well this week i are be mostly using multi-purpose grease yeah i know i used the black stuff earlier on but uh it was what was on the bench to tell you the truth and what was in my grease gun for that matter but we had this over beside the beside the um the ramp because i was greasing up the ramp with it anyway and getting all that sorted out so now if you don't make this noise when you're greasing something up, you're doing it wrong. There you go, look. And we're going to literally run it right the way down. And what we're going to do is, one hand is going to have your grease in it, and the other hand is going to be feeding the cable in, and we're going to do it like that, okay? And uh, that should do a fairly good job of keeping your car kind of relatively grease-free. So let's uh, let's give it a go. I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get into the car and... Uh, feed it through all i'm going to be doing is just pushing it through that pipe i'm not going to get you guys in close because um all that's going to happen is the cable's just going to knock the camera over and it's going to get all covered in grease and i can't be dealing with it all right so start at the beginning and when you get to the end stop you cannot use too much grease in this instance all right well either i've done something very wrong or that cable is now in and at the back uh at the engine so let's uh let's have a look and see i know sure it couldn't be that easy it's hanging down under the car so obviously my um my uh bowden tube is after coming off uh at the chassis end so uh we'll uh we'll have to uh get the car back up in the air again and uh stick the cable through it and put it back into its place not the not the biggest problem in the world is it ah yeah typical so uh yeah our uh outer tube has popped off so we need to just put that back on so and then we just feed the cable up through it all right the cable's coming out in the right place up until this point so it's just literally a case of grabbing hold of this and then we feed our cable through just make sure that the cable you don't loop the cable around something that it's not that the tube isn't looped around because otherwise it's not it's not gonna work for you so cable end is there uh, because the cable end is solid it's uh it's just uh fighting me a bit here so we'll uh i'll fumble with this a bit more i was fully expecting to be honest with you that it was the wrong accelerator cable there are different accelerator cables for for Beatles and the 1303 has a different accelerator cable to uh, other cars. Now, 
okay so that's uh that's on there now so let's uh let's see how we're looking up in the uh, engine bay okay so everything's looking good here so there's our uh cable after coming up through uh through our guide tube so we are sliding lovely between the front and back of the car so that's exactly what we're looking for now so uh, happy days right so let's uh let's address the other end first before we uh connect it at this end all right so really all it's a case of doing now is just pulling the cable out enough so that you can hook the end the cable end into the uh the rod and uh Obviously, the cranked end faces inward so that the cable lines up with the hole or with the tube in the bodywork. Come on, get in there. There you go. So, yeah, so that's all looking pretty good there now. I'm going to put that cover back on and then we're going to connect it up at the other end and then everything should be 100%. So, that's all reinstated in there now and cable is in. So, now we are going to just have a look at the back end. So for those of you like me who have a uh, bell crank linkage or some other sort of linkage which you've had to disconnect, just put the linkage back into place first before you put your accelerator cable in. So we're going to pull the cable just slightly out now and we're going to put a barrel nut on there. Unfortunately, I find that the, the accelerator cables are always just that little bit too long uh, coming through here. Maybe it is that the fact that I... These aren't the ones for the 1303 that are uh, that I'm actually getting, and that's why they're too long. But uh, in any case, it's what I have to work with, so it's not the end of the world. It just means that the the barrel nut is not actually clamping down on the cable end, but rather the actual cable itself, which I don't really like. But you know what? It's worked for me so far, and I've never broken the cable as a result of it. So, well, some tempting fate by saying that, but sure, anyway. So we're just going to do up our uh, little uh, retainer here now and now I have put a return spring in here actually it's actually a throttle return spring off a Lister D engine which goes from the, the rear bell crank linkage over to a hole that was in the fan shroud there and it's just putting enough uh, enough tension on it to return it nicely now i'm hoping that actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to disconnect it afterwards I'm, i want to just try it out and see how we uh see how we're looking here now as everything stands so let's see let's uh let's have a look in the on the, the driver's side and see how the uh pedal feels oh yeah feels better than it's ever felt in this car before to be honest with you I don't want to pump it too many times because I'll end up flooding the engine then if I... <laughs> so the last thing to do really is if you can get somebody to just uh, stand on the accelerator and making sure, make sure that you have the full range of movement. So when, you're, when, you're, when your foot is mashed into the carpet, that the throttles are wide open on the, uh, on the carbs. So, uh, so you're getting the most power out of your engine. And um, yeah, check that out anyway and see. And what I'm, I'm going to do that myself now in a little while. Uh, I'm going to need an assistant for that. So uh, yeah, for the moment anyway, all you basically do is if you haven't got the full range of movement, get somebody to hold the accelerator down, undo the barrel nut, and then basically pull the, uh, the throttle linkage so it is wide open, and then clamp it down at that point. And then when they let off, then it should go back to idle. And if it doesn't, then you've got a problem somewhere else possibly your accelerator pedal so i'm going to leave it there folks um i hope you got a bit from this video so uh, yeah thanks very much for watching and plenty more to do in this car i'm going to be kind of getting stuck into it over the next while i want to get the uh, the next job i want to do is take the exhaust off and try and find out why it's popping and farting i think it just needs new gaskets in certain places and i also want to do something about a back seat for it so uh, we're gonna we're gonna be having a look into all of that and yeah, uh, so hopefully you'll join me along the way and uh, thanks for thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go and if you like what you saw, hit the like button as well. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon. Oh and yeah, I'm getting the full range of movement there. So uh, the throttles are wide open with the pedal flat to the floor. Happy days. They're all, uh, they're all good. So uh, that's a win. I uh, wedged the uh, pedal down with a, uh, with a steering lock actually. It worked out well.